And uh, yeah, that's our plans for the day, guys. We're going to set ourselves up. We're going to have a look at some quests to do with the, the main friends of the hideaway. And then we're going to do some hunts. Then we'll dive into the final boss and fight the final boss. Like I said, before we actually take on the hunts, it would be really nice to hang out with Jill. At the end of the last episode, we were hanging out with Joshua and we also went to visit Clive and Joshua's dad's grave, which had a really touching scene. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you catch the end of the last episode. We also got some armbands made for our, ourselves as well to kind of co commemorate our father and also Joshua and Clive's kind of place in the realm and all of that kind of nice stuff. So again, that was all behind us. Joshua. I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. One of us. I know that we still need her now more than ever. That you still need her. Okay. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. It's kind of interesting here. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? Okay, some of these are going to be deep Jill quests. And I so. broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. Here we go. Yeah, to see the snow daisies. I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> a thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. <laughs> what do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. It's miles away, let's be honest. Mm, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? Uh, I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? But Founder, it was worth it. They're beautiful. <laughs> do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Okay, dokie. So Jill is probably up in our room. There's Dion as well. There might be a quest. I think you guys were telling me last time there's a quest for Dion, but it's not currently available. I'm wondering if once we do the Jill quest, some of these other options might open to us. And then from there, we're going to decide what other tasks we're going to be doing. But we'll do them one at a time. And then if we have to, if we can do like the Dion quest, the Gav quest, we will definitely try it. But for the time being, we're focused on Jill. Jill. There's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? Miles away. It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? And then he just leaves. She's like, uh, I was kind of busy. We're going to whisk her away, guys, on our magic carpet. At least it didn't make me travel here. It actually just took me straight back to the spot, which is good. So, uh, thank you, Squeenix. so many. This is what you wanted to show me. Oh god, she thought she was getting a motorbike. I... I... I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you. Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... <laughs> tried to? How could I forget? Oh. You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. <laughs> but I felt wonderful nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. 
They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Aww, kawaii. Hey, Demonic Ninja, welcome. We've got Demon King and Demonic Ninja in the chat today. What's up, guys? Jacrim asked what we're going to play next. I'm not sure. We were talking about it earlier, Jay, but I'm going to think about it tomorrow. In Edinburgh tomorrow, so I'm going to have a, a, a good hard think. Maybe plan some stuff, do a bit of research. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. Okay. And from there, I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... that no matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. <sighs> Where do you see us when all this is over? Eight children. At least. I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. She fucking hates it here. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Okay, so you fucking hate my kingdom. Got it. Then that's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. It's a screensaver right there. Oh she Life 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 In the flowers. I never was much good at garlands. It'll have to do. Oh my god, you did that fast. What the fuck? You're not I'll very good. It forever. You're not very good at garland. She whipped that out in like two seconds. Thank you, Clive. Where did that even come from? For this, the flowers, for everything. All right, Venusaur, calm down. It's exactly what I needed. Aww. You are my treasure. Aww, are you? Oh, that's a good hug. There you go, there's your screensaver, boys. Right there, that's the thumbnail. <sighs> Very Final Fantasy VIII. We like those, we take those. Alright, Jill getting a bit of love, which is nice, because Jill deserves love, let's be honest. Lanto, welcome. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. Oh. Oh, you mean defeat all of them or not? Okay, quest complete. Bag the damsel, that's what it's called. No, it's not. It's called Priceless, guys. Just like the TV show. Lawsman Harpocrates. Ah, yes. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. You spoke of making amends with Dion. But I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. This was some years ago, of course. He was share maths. Before I joined Sid in his hideaway. At that time, 
I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam, and was accordingly invited to the palace to supervise the young prince's education, all to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, everything an emperor should. History, religion, commerce, government. Alas, our time together was cut short when Dion left to join the Dragoons, his studies no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again. Have you spoken with him? No, I... <laughs> I have yet to find the right moment. His Highness always seems so preoccupied, especially when alone. Not when I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. The guilt weighs heavily on him, but as you say, that was Ultima's doing. When I first met him, it was not guilt, but his people's expectations that weighed heavily upon him. And I did nothing to ease that burden. He bore it alone. Mm. Until the day he could not bear it any longer. It is one of my greatest regrets that I only ever offered him my wisdom when what he truly needed was friendship. He needed a pal. The blame for Dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders, but on mine. I kind of get it. I see. I mean, he did blow up a city as a dragon. I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tale. Apothecaries across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower is to be granted inner solace. Fabulists and fraudsters all, of course. But there is oft a seed of truth to be found where even the most outlandish opinions align. Well, it can't hurt to try. Your oh, Highness, would you do me the honour of accompanying me? No. It is time, then. <laughs> no. Only to the shelves. Fucking hell, Clive. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. Master Harpocrates. No. I dare not show my face before him. Not after everything I have done. I have taken countless innocent lives. Mm -hmm, we were just talking about that. And ruined countless more. I know. All because I was weak. Oh, don't be like that. I have sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. But were I to meet with him again and see in his eyes what I have become, I fear that my resolve might falter. And that is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him how strong it truly is. You're right. I must, at the very least, offer him my gratitude. That very would be well, nice. Man. Follow me. I honestly thought Dion's story, like, his little side quest was going to be connected to the little girl. But maybe that comes at the end of the game or something, I don't know. Even now, I hesitate to approach him. What must he think of me? Oh, come on now. You'd be surprised. He's got a puzzle for you. A math puzzle. Just like the old times. I'm gonna go and do some science. Ah, Dion, now to continue on with biology too. This is the penis. I know, Master. I, I've grown up since the last time. No, no, we must continue on where we left off. These are the breasts, Dion. I don't like those. Master Harpocrates, pray. Accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. Your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the palace. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of youth require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. Physics 101. Newton's Law. 
Is that a wyvern tail? The color is unfamiliar to me. Shannon, hello. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environment in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their roots are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins, but once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, your highness. Bog. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. But they do not define it. Just as yours do not define you. I want you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Master Harpocrates, I would ask of you a service. Keep your gift until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm, for only then shall I be deserving of it. As you wish, Your Highness. I shall await your return. Oh. Oh, let me shove that flower. We went all the way across the continent for that, Dion. Jesus, man. You gonna do me like that, bro? Our roots do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. What's a feeling we get? Does that make Dean our step, bro? With memories I had thought long lost. I shall not forget this. Love you, Dion. Dude, Dion's our step bro. I never even thought about that. Step bro? Fucking hope we don't get stuck in a washing machine when Dion's around, am I right, lads? Or maybe we do. Maybe we try and do that. I mean, what? Thank you, Clive. No problem. Were it not for you, I fear I might never have found the right moment to speak with him. Yep. Not to mention the wives and tales. No problem. I hope the soul in the hideaway is to Right, if we don't do Gav's quest soon, we can't have lunch and I'm fucking starving. So Gav, we're gonna give you some love and respect here. Then we're gonna figure out the hunt situation and then we're gonna move on. Oh, you alright? Gav. Something troubling you. It's overlaying his playbook. Uh, no. It's just... Edda's baby will be coming soon, and <gasps> I wanted to make something for it. Edda's baby. I'm sure she'd like that. Gav's baby. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a Ben was on the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Edda's due any day now, and I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? Mm. All right, then. A good luck charm. Not just any. No. One made from the feather of a silver chocobo. Okay. There's no lucky in all the realm. Oh. Thing is, they're hard of to course. come by. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had Otto and always, Karen always. check with their suppliers, but nothing. Only the big day is fast approaching, and that's all you need. A feather. A feather. That or the bird whose arse it's attached to. I. We can't give a chocobo arse to the baby. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. You're a good friend, Clive. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck, you say? Here's a chocobo feather. See if he wants like a multicolored rainbow spectrum fucking necklace he can fuck Crystals off. Crystals crack. Is this what I think it is? It's black, but I painted Where it. Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Fucking hell, man. Oh my gosh. Right there on the road to Eastpool. Everything up there has been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Good luck, bird. Good luck, Play mate. Yourself, Clive. Getting ready to grind. It's right on East Pool's You got a day off today, bird. To Are you working later, maybe? Long. Even if you hadn't have turned up, they'll Good find luck. a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is 
You managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm. Reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. Og. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. There we go. Oh wow. That's lovely. Tickle, tickle, tickle. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I. I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Huh. You can give it to yourself. Come on. Ed, Ed and Edda. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. This is a steel gav getting there. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is, is... Uh, Come on, Gav, you can do this. Go on, please. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, ah, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a bairn's on the way. I, I, I mean a, a baby. To let him know that they're part of the family too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I, I don't know what to say. I thank you, me lords. Me lords. For everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah, <sighs> Clive, fancy a swift half. Uh, I'm thirsty. A swift half. I could be convinced. Oh my god, we're getting blasted. Alright, Gav. Well done. 10 out of 10. He's trying to pre-order baby number two. Alright. Wait. Gav, you can't get plastered. Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. <laughs> ah, you know what I mean. Gav. Bit of light in these dark times. What the fuck? It wasn't long after me tenth name day, my mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over, but with me being the runt of the litter, I thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. Oh no, Gav. My whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Mm. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Maybe. Love you, Gav. Do you know why you're our best scout? Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... Reference. That was only the once. Exactly. You learned from it. 
And here you are, after Founder knows how many missions, stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. <laughs> because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Brother. <sighs> Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and your sword. Oh, <laughs> not made it yet. Uh, brother, my brother. Okay, genuinely good. Genuinely good. Okay, we like those. We take those. Well done, Gav. We get to see the baby being born, or is that happening after? That must be at the end, right? Oh, Gav, don't jump. I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. I said I was thirsty. Gotta get back to work anyway. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks. For, you know. And solar flare. Quest complete. Yeah, have you come in with us? Silver linings. Beautiful. Winter meat. Alright, grand. Is Gav coming with now? I'm assuming he does. No? Okay, so the only thing we have left to do in the hideaway at this point, guys, is figure out where we got our last hunt for the uh, the dark steel. Goodbye, the Prince of Death. Oof. We are going to go and make Gotter Damarung, guys, which apparently is the most powerful sword in the game, and I'm quite excited to do so. So after this, we'll break for lunch, then we will go do our main story, and that'll be us done with Final Fantasy 16, I think. We're probably going to have a lot of content left, but let's just see. Hello, Blackthorn. So what do I owe the honor? How's it going, mate? What do you want? Alright, we could make Ice Brand, but most importantly, here we are, got our damn ring, folks. Ragnarok is going to be consumed, or a cow come four out of three. We've got the Dark Steel and the Primitive Battle Horn that we got from the Goblin. Huge upgrade for our weapon, and again, don't know if I want to make this Should last you a good while. prior to uh, our final boss, but I mean, the options are here, why not? Trophy earned half past Twilight, thank you so much. Anything else? Just like that, boys, we have our sword. I think this is it. Is this it equipped? I think it is. Let's just have a quick peek at it in all its glory. We got a silver trophy for doing this. And yeah, got our damn ring. Quite a mouthful, honestly, but cool nonetheless. Do I actually want to swap Wings of Light off here of, for Bahamut? I'm tempted to do so. I might actually take off Bahamut and put on Garuda. Because I feel like otherwise I'm just going to be sad. We're going to keep Heaven's Cloud and we're going to keep Rook's Gambit. But now I can actually pull over the enemies mid-boss fight if I need to. Alright, we're going to break for lunch, guys, and then we're going to go do our main story, which apparently is straight up at Origin. So what we'll do is we'll save our game here and uh, have a little food break because I am very hungry.